another tag, as you can tell I'm actually doing tags. Today, as you can tell from the title, I'm doing, going to be doing the Totally Should Have book tag created by Emma Books and I'll link everything down below from her channel and her video on this. And why, why waste time? Let's get started. <laughs> Question one is Totally Should Have Gotten a Sequel and my answer is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. And I, th I think, not so much a sequel for this book, but I just want to see more of Snow Simon and Baz. And I just, like, there's so much you he hear referenced in this book about other things that have happened. And I just want a sequel where I get to see that. Like, if you've read it, you'll understand. But, you yeah, know, I think this book should have had a sequel. Question two is, totally should have had a spin-off series. And honestly, I could answer Harry Potter like me and every other person. <laughs> but instead of saying Harry Potter, I am going to say The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I, I think The Lunar Chronicles would, could have has so many opportunities for great spin-off series. Like, a spin-off series about Chris and Thorne's adventures after everything that happened in the series. Like, like travelling around everywhere and like story like a series of what all the other characters are doing now and up and like before the series started and I just think a spin-off series or two from The Lunar Chronicles would be great. Question three is an author who totally should write more books and my answer for this is Suzanne Collins, the author of the Hunger Games series because the Hunger Games series is so good. Sorry if you can hear my bird outside. My bird Lily is being a bit loud, so sorry if you can hear that, but as I was saying, I think because the Hunger Games series is so good, and I love it so much, yet you don't really hear anything about Susan Collins anymore, and I, I think like she could write so many other great books, like the Hunger Games was great, she should write more books, but you never see anything about it, I mean like she could be writing more books, but you never know, but yeah, I think Susan Collins should write more books. <laughs> Question 4 is a character who totally should have ended up with someone else and I honestly don't have an answer for this question because I don't know, I just, I look through all my books on my shelf and I just can't think of anything because I usually, I'm pretty alright with like what the author writes in the books and I don't know. Also like a lot of the books, a lot of series like, I haven't finished so I don't know who ends up with who yet. Like different series but I don't know I can't think of anything for this question so moving on. <laughs> question 5 is totally should have ended differently and my answer for this is the Divergent series. If you've read this series you know how Allegiant ends and like I'm honestly not that annoyed or like I don't hate the ending that much but I think there's so many different other different possible ways the series could have ended but I don't know if you know what the thing that happened at the end of that series. I really don't think it should, needed to happen, but oh well, it is what it is, but I really think it could have ended differently. <laughs> question six is totally should have a movie franchise. And for this question, I honestly think the Dorothy Must Die series by Danielle Page, I honestly think they could make so make some great movies from those books because like everyone loves the wizard of oz right and like because like the wizard of oz but like different and i just i think it'd be so great as a movie series if you if you agree let me know down below and just i think it'd be so good as a movie everyone would love it and also i think stephanie perkins books like lola and the boy next door anna and the french kiss those books i think those could make great really cute movies too Question 7 is totally should have a TV show and I don't really know what to answer this, for this question but I think the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas, I think those could make, that, that series could make a good TV show but I don't know, it could that could be more of a movie than a TV show but it could be good as long as the, as long as the TV people do it right. <laughs> Question 8 is totally should have had just one point of view and I can't, I'd honestly, for this question, I just, I love multiple points of views in books. I think they give you so much more story from different characters' point of view. And I honestly don't think, can't think of any books that 
would have been better just with one point of view. I love multiple point of views, so I'm going to skip this one. Question 9 is totally should have had a cover change. And for this question, I'm going to answer any Jennifer, Jennifer L. Armentrout book. If, uh, Jennifer L. Armentrout, like, her books are so good. I haven't read any, but I've heard they're good. Oh, well. <laughs> but I've heard they're so good, but the covers, they're just not great. And if you've seen any of them, you know what I mean. Like, they just, they need better covers, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, they should have had a cover change. Question 10 is... Totally should have kept the original covers. And for this question, I'm going to answer for the Divergent series, but the Australian slash British covers, because this is the original, like original covers. But then in Australia, we have two different other editions. We have this edition kind of cover, and we also have like this style cover, which. I honestly don't think any of these covers are that bad. They're pretty good covers, but I love this style cover so much more. And I can't really find anywhere in Australia that sells these covers anymore. So if anyone knows, let me know down below. But yeah, I think these covers are so much better than these, even though these are still good. So, oh well, yep, that's my answer. <laughs> and the last question, question 11, is totally should have stopped at book one. And I don't really know, but I think the fifth wave could have stopped at book one. I mean, like, I get the story needs to keep going, like there isn't a full story, but like, from what I've heard, the, the, the second book is just nowhere near as good as the first one, and just honestly, it could have stopped at book one. Like, it could have stopped at book one, it <laughs> even though the story is supposed to keep going, just should have stopped at book one. <laughs> That's it for now, so thanks for watching this video, hope you liked it, if you liked it give it a thumbs up and maybe comment down below some of your answers to these questions and thanks for Emma for creating this tag, it was so much fun and subscribe if you like and yeah that's it, bye!